it's finally available. Quadrant 0.8 has been released. We made a lot of performance improvements, but there are also some brand new functionalities we've been all waiting for. And in this video, we are going to review them. Quadrant is a vector database, making it easy to perform nearest neighbor search with some additional filtering criteria. Up till now, we were only able to launch it on a single machine. So, in case of having really big collections, we had to provide the machine with a relatively huge amount of memory. That also had another drawback. All our search operations have been fully executed on the same machine. So, handling heavy traffic from multiple clients at the same time could become a bottleneck. The latest version of Quadrant has the experimental distributed mode available. So now you are able to launch it with the data spread across a cluster of machines. Under the hood, we are using horizontal partitioning. So your collection is divided into several parts or shards, which do not intersect each other. That means your query might be launched in parallel on all the machines at once, as each of them will be working on a subset of points only. There is also a plan to support replication in the next releases to bring the fault tolerance property. But the distributed mode is not the only major change in the current release. Quadrant allows you to search not only using vector similarity, but also with some conventional filters, so only the points matching the criteria are returned. To use this filtering, you should provide the JSON payload along with the vector and then just query based on selected attribute values, or several attributes at the same time as well. Previously, all your payloads were loaded into RAM, which could have slightly increased your memory requirements. Right now, if you already know a particular collection won't be accessing the payloads that often, you can create it in a way that it will be storing all the payloads on disk only. And that will reduce the amount of memory being used. But it may also increase the latency if you decide to use the filters ext extensively. Some I.O. operations will be executed while searching. So be careful. But if you know your data and the way it is going to be queried, you might be happy to see you can now store more vectors on the same machine. Or just cut off some of your expenses because you don't necessarily need 128 gigabytes of RAM to perform a neural search, do you? And last but not least, there is a possibility to filter by similarity score. Many of you have asked for that feature, so we made that dream come true. If you know your distance function and have a specific act acceptance threshold, you can now put it into your search query and you won't even see anything that falls below. How do you enjoy using Quadrant so far? Please let us know in the comment section below. And if you don't, let's see our GitHub and give us a star.